Okay, this is going to be the follow-up to my other videos about my transmission. This transmission basically would not go into fourth gear. Um, so I got it used. It sat for two years. It was running. It was working fine until I decided to change the transmission fluid. I dropped the. I pulled the uh, drain plug. Drained uh, what was in the pan here. Filled it up. Ran it. I ran it for probably uh, 200 miles. Then the transmission would not shift into fourth. <clears throat> so what I did is I changed the transmission fluid one more time from the pan. I didn't totally flush it. And then tried that. And uh, and it still didn't come back. So and then I put one of these in it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this pan and take a look at it and see what's in there. Spray some uh, brake parts cleaner up in there, and then uh, fill it back up with new tranny fluid and another jar of this. And we'll see. If so yeah, there's a, actually a factory a factory bulletin on this where part. Uh, the part inside, one of the parts inside here was designed too small and it tends to get clogged up with debris. So if you got a lot of debris in your uh, transmission, it's going to clog up the shifting whatever uh, venturis or valves. And then also, if you got a, if you got an old transmission, you probably don't want to do this. This is only the second time I've pulled a pan on, on uh, these. The first one I pulled the pan and changed the filter and uh, then it starts slipping. So this one here is not slipping. What it's doing is it's um, it's not going on the fourth gear. And I do I did uh, on my other video I noticed uh, that service bulletin is a service bulletin, so it's kind of a manufacturer's defect on that transmission. So I know it's not a slipping problem. So that's why I'm going to go go ahead and get aggressive and trying to clean the inside out, see if I can clean the uh, clean the valves and 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 uh, little venturis and stuff in here. Um, and so otherwise. If your transmission is slipping, you probably don't want to do this because I did one where the transmission was slipping and I did this and changed the filter and then it actually slipped worse. So um, so what happens is some of the old gunk inside there helps the transmission work better in some cases. In this case, the theory is that it's clogged and it's not any kind of major worn part. So that's why I'm swapping the... Uh, I'm going to take this pan out, look up inside there, clean all that gunk out put it back together and see if I can make it work okay so here's here's the pan it doesn't look too bad we have some stuff here a lot of metal particles here shitload of them but uh and it doesn't look all that bad what I did notice is this one has this nut here it's loose um, so this filter here, um, it's possible this filter, and it doesn't look too clogged on this side at least, it's possible this filter has to be, the whole valve body has to be removed to replace this filter. It's very possible. I'm not going to replace that filter just because I've heard some horror stories about this filter if you um, because some of these fil some of these fil filters will have nuts behind the behind there and it's impossible to put the filter back on uh, to grab the nut because the nut is free floating behind this valve body so I don't know why that thing is loose I'm going to try and tighten it up and see what happens that may be the problem, I don't know, it's very odd that thing is loose like that. Um, it looks pretty clean, it's not that dirty. So at this point it's kind of a witch hunt. Um, but uh, in any case, I'm going to try and clean it up a little bit and see what happens. Okay, i got the pan all cleaned out. And new gasket on it. And this bolt actually tightened up. I was surprised. Um, I was surprised that actually tightened up. So, uh, I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not, but very likely that thing was sitting on the bottom of the pan and not tightened up. Could have lost pressure 
for shifting. All the rest of these bolts are all tight. Um, I sprayed the brake cleaner basically kind of anywhere I thought they could go in there and clean things. I think I'm going to let it dry out for a little bit and uh, put it all back together. Okay, so I got the uh, bottom, it's all buttoned up and I actually put some uh, high temperature silicone around one half of the gasket and on these bolts just to kind of give it an extra kind of life here. Um, so this is this is the fluid I got, I took out of it. This fluid here is not that old. This this is was actually just a pan dump. It's not a total flush. And you can see it's not too bad. It's not not a bad color. Uh so it's just that I wanted to uh I wanted to make sure that uh you know the stuff was all cleaned out. And I'm really glad I pulled this pan off because I, I found that loose bolt in there and that loose bolt could have been the problem. Um so, I got this O'Reilly stuff, and then I'm going to put the trans tune in, and, uh, so basically I'm not going to measure that, I'm just going to pour it in, um, that's like a gallon right there, basically, see this bucket, Let's see what does it say, it doesn't say, but that's like a gallon right there, so, this is one gallon, so I'm going to pour three quarters in, and then pour some of that in and measure it as I go. Uh, the torque converter was not uh, drained, so the torque converter still has fluid in it, and uh, yeah, I prefer not to totally flush the system, just with the age of this. And I am curious about the filter. Now, this is a filter kit that I got, and so this filter, um, now this, this, is, this is the bottom of the filter, this is the top of the filter. I was able to spray carburetor cleaner up in there and get some gunk out. I didn't take it off just because, like I said, some of these will have bolts that are on the other side of the whole uh, valve body. You have to take the whole valve body off to deal with it. Um, so I'm just curious if anyone knows. I mean, this is all general instructions. I couldn't find the uh, information on uh, in my climber's manual or my Chilton's manual. So I don't know if this actually has a bolt behind it. And I'm curious if anybody knows if this particular uh, 91 Sentra has a bolt behind it that holds uh, that holds this on, because if you take this off and then the bolt comes loose, it's supposedly it's free floating. I don't know. This is what I've heard. Um, if that bolt's free floating, you'll never be able to put it back on. Uh, that center bolt I was able to tighten back up, um, and it was rubbing on the bottom pan. So uh, yeah. So anyway, if you know anybody who knows anything about these Nissan Sentra filters. Let me know. Thanks.